Every company, especially small companies, and especially those in highly technical sectors like biotech, relies on key individuals with specialised knowledge and skills. And often these people are world-class experts in their field, which makes them difficult to replace. But when the core skills that drive your organisation are only possessed by a single person, well, you've created a single point of failure, which increases your risk levels and limits your ability to scale the company and deliver your milestones. Let's say, for example, you're a gene therapy company with a programme that leverages complex genomic analysis. You've got a team of biologists and delivery experts, and one of those people has extensive experience in using bioinformatics techniques in drug discovery. The others, however, don't, and they rely on that individual to, to conduct all the computational analysis that enables the program. If they were to leave the business to become unavailable or overworked, well, then you have a real problem to deal with. And how likely is it that you'll lose that person? Well, LinkedIn's research has suggested that at any given time, in any given market, 25 to 30% of people are actively looking for a job. And in the same study, they also found that 89% of people were open to the right opportunities if they were approached in the right way. That means that even if you treat your team extremely well, there's a significantly higher than zero chance that one of them will leave. If they do, and you don't have a clear replacement for their skills, then you've become a victim of a single point of failure. As a result, if you have a single point of failure in your business, you're accepting major operational risk. And if you have more than one, then this compounds. When that individual, along with their knowledge, leaves the company, you're likely to experience operational slowdowns, errors in execution, or stalled projects, meaning missed milestones and unhappy investors, while your cash runway continues to shorten. Research done by Gartner has uncovered that 30% of businesses experience major disruptions due to knowledge gaps when key employees leave. As well as that, you're also likely to miss opportunities because when a single person is responsible for a core critical capability, their times usually spread very thin. And when that's the case, it's difficult for them to identify opportunities for innovation, experimentation and further research because they're constantly trying to catch up on their workload. Now, the first step in effectively eliminating single points of failure is to identify them. Tools like a competency matrix are perfect for this as they help you to map the critical skills and capabilities that you need in your company against the people in the team who possess them. Given the objective visual nature of these matrices, it's easy to see where your single points of failure lie. And I've recorded a whole video on this topic. So if you want more insight on how to create a skills matrix, take a look at building your biotech company by design. It's easy to do and immediately reduces your exposure. In fact, Deloitte's research has shown that companies using competency mapping and skills matrices are 40% more likely to maintain operational resilience during times of disruption. Once you've created your matrix, make sure to review it regularly so that it stays up to date as your company evolves. Then the second step in managing single points of failure is reinforcing them, either by bringing in or developing the skills you're exposed on in other members of the team. Hiring new people who create more strength in depth around your single point of failure reduces your level of risk, as well as providing new perspectives and increasing your chances of innovation. But hiring is expensive, it takes time and you'll have to invest in onboarding and integrating the new recruit into your business all while you risk upsetting the culture you've already created. Alternatively, you can provide opportunities for the person possessing your single point of failure skill to train others, giving them greater variety and responsibility while growing their capability. Asking them as the expert to create a training course or academy program to develop others in their area of expertise can be a real win-win you reduce the risk associated with your single point of failure and that person is recognised for their expertise in a way that positions them for career progression. But training takes time and isn't an immediate fix. If you're proactive though and do it in advance, it's a great approach. As well as plugging your gap, you'll be investing in your team, which drives retention, engagement and resilience in times of change. Single points of failure can represent significant risk to your company but they're also an opportunity. By proactively identifying them through competency mapping and hiring around them or leveraging them to create a stronger pipeline of talent, 
you can reduce your vulnerability and build a more resilient organisation. So don't wait until risk becomes reality. Deal with your single points of failure now. Mm -hmm.